pick whatever makes the most sense for what you're doing. If you're the kind of person who, you know, you just don't like the look of your dome, just, you know, just don't use it then. But if you yeah, like, yeah, definitely. But if you just want something that works, it it certainly does do a good job at that. Like it it does just mostly work, and it also achieves my goal of uh, annoying people when I use it on streams because there's a lot <laughs> of people who are just, you know, violently against GNOME existing and anyone using GNOME. So if they see you know, some YouTuber using GNOME, it's going to very much uh, bother them. Um, and that's always fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get you on that one. <laughs> I've got a similar thing, because I, I always use Nano, and the amount of comments I get from people <laughs> saying, what are you using Nano for? And it was like, because obviously they can't say anything because of what I'm doing, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it always cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you going to say but... to a guy who's trying to... Like, I saw you did the thing uh, a couple months ago about getting Rust working on a... Pentium three. Um yep. it's like what are you gonna say about that? <laughs> like, like it's quite interesting. That the best time I had though was I was helping a uh Google dev mm. install Gen 2 on stream, someone called me in. So I was teaching him through it. He made this obviously I've helped him all the way through and then he made mm. this long speech about um about nano and then after you finished I just went, I use nano. <laughs> and he's trying to see someone dig out the hole. He was a great guy, by the way. Though. I'm not, not being thinking about it, but it was just funny trying to watch someone get out of the hole afterwards. Just makes my day. So it's the troll inside me, you know. Can't I, get away from it. I think I've used Nano twice, maybe. Yeah. It's. It, I mean, I've, I don't. I, I don't used like it before. Nano, it was. But like. Really? Yeah. I, I, I don't know any... I know the key binds are on the screen, but I don't know them, like, you know, I don't know them uh, off my heart. So it, I always am just way slower using it than anything else. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I've used it since it was Pico before the rewrite for GNU. So obviously, it, it's the same for me with, with um, Vim and stuff like that. I know where they are. I know what some of the things are, and I can mm. get my way around it, but I'm so much slower. What's the point mm. switching? My, uh, my favorite thing with Vim is when I was... I, there was a time when I used to do a lot of Vim videos, like t- talking about Vim plugins, things like that. And that was a, that was a long time ago now. Uh, but there are a lot of people that use Vim who are very particular about how you use Vim. It's like plugins really? bad. If you're not doing everything through native Vim, you're doing it wrong. It seems to be the same in Emacs as well. Like you can do everything you need what why are why what are you doing stop it you're supposed I'm to use it in this very people. particular way <laughs> i need to find these people that's hilarious i guess nano just doesn't have that because nano is just nano it just gets on the job that's what yeah. you know that's all i'm there all i want to do is change a config make it work and then get on with my job but i don't need no frills <laughs> nano is the it is the ubuntu of text editors it is the i am here to get work done i don't care about anything else I w- modifications what are those let's just work <laughs> yep that, that's exactly it I, say, I, I don't need it to play music to me i don't need to do anything else just exactly. need to te- edit text but yeah, and, that'd be... yeah that's pretty much it and if you look if you're comfortable with it as well like there's no reason to just go and swap to something like there's no just because people say that you should be using you should be using uh ed go use ed because <laughs> there are those people <laughs> out there uh or like go use ex um, you, you, like if Nano's doing everything you need, and like you're not here, uh, like you're here trying to set up Gen G. You're not here to talk about what the best text editor is. Like it doesn't matter what that is. Yeah, but it's exactly as that is, and it just use what works best for you. That's what the beauty of Linux is. Isn't exactly. It? You're not told. To, yeah, no one tells you what to use. You just find that tool, and mm-hmm. that's what you use. 